What's good, YouTube fam? You already know who it is. The Brown Brother, but I need no introduction. Uh, for everybody who's new, please like, share, and definitely hit that subscribe button because we got some good content coming on here. Today, I want to talk to my brothers real quick. Again, as you know, the channel is called The Brown Brother. This is tips and advice and everything for young black men. And today, I want to talk and to take into example uh, the Super Bowl 51 and what happened and what kind of tips you can learn for young black men. This is the second installment of, I guess we can call it, uh, sports and what young black men can learn from it, in which we analyze sports and talk about some great tips in which young black men can take uh, uh, from the game in general. Uh, um, so please, again, uh, definitely check us out and, and let's get, hop right into the video. Um, I made a video about two, maybe three weeks ago. I don't remember exactly when, but probably like a, a couple of days after the news that happened. Uh, the Oakland Raiders were playing, uh, it's like week 15, I believe. And uh, um, if anybody who knows the Oakland Raiders, they know for years and years and years, the Oakland Raiders have not uh, produced and uh, played very well. But it seemed like to me the Oakland Raiders had just put a team together and they were winning and they were hitting uh, 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 their peak. And they were about to go to the pinnacle. To me, I had them as favorites as uh, to play in the Super Bowl, but it represented the AFC. But as soon as they were winning, and as soon as they were finally uh, uh, crawled their way out and uh, uh, tooth and nail and, and scratched their way out of uh, uh, the swamp or, or or the 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 hole of being uh, uh, mediocre or, or, or being a team that took a lot of L's. Uh, their leader, their facilitator, the quarterback, breaks his entire leg and they're out of the game. So I made that video telling you kind of like analyzing the situation and saying what young black men can take from that situation. Not so much as, you know, bad things will happen when, you know, some I think good things are going on. None, nothing crazy like that because that shouldn't happen. I, I believe in energy. And if you put positive things out, you get positive things back. But I made that video to say this is what maybe possibly when you can take out of this and analyze it from not just a sports perspective, from but from a life perspective. So today I want to break down Super Bowl 51, so please like, subscribe, let's hop right into it. Um, Super Bowl 51 was uh, tonight. Um, this is Super Bowl Sunday, a couple hours after the game just finished. So uh, I hope my speech uh, uh, sounds pretty cool. I've been up basically all day and, and didn't definitely watch the game. So trying to definitely, trying to come and straight off the dome and trying to give you all some tips on, on right off the bat what I thought about the game and so forth and so on. Now, a lot of people are going to say that the game was rigged, but let's just say for the intensity and sake of the game, that all the rules were perfect, that law and order stood, that nobody cheated, right? Let's just say that. There's a lot of money in politics and sports, so I'm not sure about that. You know, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, so this would be the least of the things I'd be surprised about, that the game was rigged. But let's just say for all intents and purposes, it wasn't. The Patriots were down, this is tip number one, the Patriots were down 28-9, to nine, but they didn't quit. That's tip number one. Don't ever quit in the face of adversity. Uh, one of the Harlem Globetrotters, a uh, uh, world famous basketball team, one of the players once said, tough times don't last forever, but tough people do. Hard times don't last forever, but great people do. That's my translation of his, his was tough times don't last forever, but tough people do, which is amazing. Hard times don't last forever, but great people do. Those who destined for great, those who want it more will survive. And I see myself a lot of times saying that, and it's true. Don't ever quit. Don't ever, ever, ever quit. You may say that math class is hard, will work until you can't no more. And then, you know, if you see you got to take other proper channels, then you do what you got to do. But don't ever quit. Don't look at something just quit because it seems hard. Right? So you don't ever quit. Okay? You, the math may be hard, but that you're not going to just drop out of school. It may be hard going to the gym and, 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 and lifting those weights, but you're still going to do it. You're not going to, you know, stay in the same spot that you're staying in forever. You're going to do it. So you never, ever quit. The obstacle of 28 to 9, the Patriots never led. The Falcons were up 28 to 9. It was a, what, if my math, if my math serves me correct, it was, what, a three-score game? But they did not quit. They never led one time in the game, but they said, you know what? We're not going to quit. We're going to continue to work. We're going to continue to hustle. We're going to continue to grind. And we're going to do everything that we can to at least try to ensure that this game is is uh, is, is 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 winnable. And if not, we're going to go down uh, with our best foot forward and doing everything that we can to be the best team possible that we can possibly be. And look at the results. Instead of them quitting, they could have easily t kneeled, I guess, taken a knee on each and every play and look forward to the next year. 
they could have easily just did little quarterback sneaks, fullback dives, and just say, let's just look forward to next year. But they said, no, with the Super Bowl and the Grand Stage and all, we're going to go out there and play to the to the last whistle blows. And you see what happened when that happened. They won. They achieved success because they did not quit. So don't ever quit in your scenario or situation. You keep working hard and do what you can do and everything. And then, you know, when things get, then you figure it out. But for right now, you don't quit, whether it's that math class, rather uh, uh, that's you trying to uh, uh, um, take anything or going for a job, uh, uh, in job interviews, you don't quit. You you keep working at trying to make something happen. Your business, if you're starting a business, you're an entrepreneur, don't quit. You keep doing what you can do. Again, tough times don't last ever, but tough people last. Two, be balanced, but be effective and be efficient in being balanced. You got to understand that the Atlanta Falcons offense and defense were both playing tremendously tonight. When we got to the third and fourth quarter, again, we could say don't quit, but I still saw effort. It was just that that, that efficiency had worn off. The effective state of being balanced had worn off. The effective state of being balanced wore off. It's almost like a warranty on a car or a warranty on a on a on a computer or something, right? When that time is up, when it's worn down, the the value of the appreciation or, or or the or the whatever has gone down. So the the safety net goes away, and you saw that happen. Me that the clock wind down. Maybe they were tired. I don't know what it was, but the, they they stopped being effective and stopped being efficient at being balanced. And the offense wasn't scoring, and the defense was giving up huge plays. So you got to be to the whistle blows. You got to be effective. You got to be balanced, and you got to be efficient in being balanced. Uh, tip three, because this video is going to be a part of under 10 minutes, so let's just try to get to the next one real quick. Tip three is life's about individual choices and decisions. If you don't know anything about this channel or, or never been to this channel, it's your first time on this channel, or this is your first time introducing me, I talk about two key principles, respect and responsibility. But within that, I always end every single thing that I talk about or, or my nar individual narrative as a human being is to say life's about choices. Life's about individual choices that we each and every one of us has to make some point in our life that would dictate the outcome of our life or that's or that or our life for a season or for that moment would dictate what happens for that moment and for that season. And three and one for you decide to pass when you're the best player in the game, Freeman on offense was running the ball. On defense, it was it was Jones, uh, Damian Jones, I believe, or Deion Jones. On offense, it was the running back, Freeman. For you not to run him and to pass on three and one, that lets me know that life's about individual choices. You made a bad mistake, now you have to suffer with it by not being having a ring on your finger, but not doing whatever and that's not putting no blame on anybody because on the darkest moment i refuse to criticize because that's almost kicking a man when he's down don't get me wrong i'm using this advice and these tips to show you how not to do the things that that we have done like i i'm i'm a old i'm getting older now and i've made mistakes so i make this channel to show you not to have not to make the mistakes that i made for you don't cross the same path so i'm analyzing this and showing you what mistakes they made so you don't make these same mistakes not only in sports and in football and in life I mean, not only just in sports, but in life, period, outside of, of things. I talked about not quitting, and I translated that into the academic, into any kind of effort or stance in your life. I talked about being efficient on both sides of the ball, being efficient on both sides. You have to be just as, as smart in this area as that area, but still remain effective in it, no matter what you got to do, whether it means studying longer or, or, or just being more well aware or opening yourself or, or broadening your mind to, to reading uh, uh, African American literature, if you don't have a or or, or opening your mind uh, to to computers and technology, whatever it is, you got to be efficient. And but you can't let it just stop at a certain point. Whatever is fatigue or whatever, you got to find to find that balance, and it has to be efficient, right? I talked about three. I talked about um again, have make individual choice and decision. It's three and one, but you decide to and again not kicking anybody down. I don't know was it just the the getting cute, the play call, and what it was. But for some reason, you decide to when when you had the short thing there, or when it seemed like the short thing there, you take something that that is that is that that is that that is you can t I can I put this you know a lot of times you don't have to take short, but a lot of times it's about finding that balance. You could have done one run and play and tried on third and one, then tried to pass on fourth and one, tried to pass on fourth and one, then tried to run on and tried to pass on third and one, then tried to, to run on fourth and one. But you got to understand is this. 
you had an individual choice. You made a bad choice. Now you suffer. You suffer from it. So I guess I would tell you is don't make bad decisions. Or I, I guess because that's that's a little vague or that's a little uh, 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 hard to say per situation. But try to make the best situation that you can for your individual situation. Life's about choices. And when you make the right choice, you will see that your life will go great or your life will go a lot better than than it, than it would if you had made the wrong choice. So let's put it like that. But last but not least, and this is my final tip. I said we're going to try to keep it on 10 minutes, a little bit over. But this is my very last tip four, and the most important, learn from your mistakes. Again, I try to tell you, we try to teach you my mistakes on this channel and, and on many other channels of OGs on YouTube. Try to say about their mistakes and try not to get this next generation or just the next brother uh, next to them not to make that same mistake, right? But a lot of times, even as much as you say, don't make this mistake, we all live individual life. So it may be a situation that someone may have not gone through or someone may have not made a video about, or, or you listen to the advice, but you still need to try, test the waters as a man for yourself. Don't make the same mistake twice. Uh, I can't remember who said it, but a man once said, those who don't learn from history or understand history are doomed to, re to repeat it. I could basically use the word, those who... Don't learn from their mistakes. This is my word. And those who don't learn from their mistakes are doomed to repeat it. Right? And that's what happens. If you don't learn from your mistakes, you it's almost like the lie that Big Sean said. He said, last night I took an L, but you know I bounced back. Well, if you bounce it back to the same situation that you were in before you took the L, then that means you're going to walk right into it and take this another L again and bounce back to the same place. So it, it, it makes no logical or no intellectual or no intelligent sense to keep taking L's and bouncing back to the same spot that you were before. You you never hit no progression. You never progress. You never advance. You always bounce back to the same spot, make the same mistake, bounce back, bounce back, and, and you never go nowhere. It's stupid. You stay stagnant. So the intellectual process of learn from your mistakes. Three and one, you don't run the ball. This this is basically like part two of, of, of number three, the tip that I was talking about. And three and one, you don't run the ball. What does that remind you of? It reminds you of Seattle versus the Patriots, um, in which... Seattle had beast mode, but you decide to throw the ball on third and one and it gets intercepted. OK, you got the best running back in the league. You got the hot hand within. I mean, you got the best back in the league within Marshall Lynch beast mode in 2014. Now here it is 2017. And you can run the ball with the with the running back who is the best player on the field for the offense the whole game. But you decide to pass. If you don't learn from your mistakes, you're doomed to repeat it. The same thing happened. Well, you don't run the ball and you see the result in which happened. You did you don't learn from your mistakes. So if you don't learn from your mistakes, you're doomed to repeat the same situation. Heck, the same team you play in the Patriots, the same team, but you make that mistake again. So you didn't learn from your first mistake and you're doomed to repeat it. And you take that L again, and you bounce back to the same place. And guess what's gonna happen? You make that same mistake again and then learn from the first time when you make that same choice again and you don't learn from your mistake the first time, you're gonna bounce back to the same spot. And you're never going to get a ring. And not never, because let's just not say no. We don't want to put negativity out there. But you'll never. How can I put this? How can I put this? If you keep making the same mistakes and don't learn from your mistakes, you're going to be in the same spot. No progression, no progress, no advancement. And you, and, and it's going to be a heck of a lot harder to achieve anything. And and, and, you, and it's not. If you stay in that same spot or, or, or you keep... Don't learn from your mistakes and keep making them again. You'll never grow and there'll never be no mature. And there'll never be no next level greatness you can get to a certain spot but you'll never had that you'll never hit that next level greatness and if, and if you're not going for next level greatness then you know i don't know what to say you got to go for that next level greatness so hopefully this video helped me uh some any of you all uh brothers in, in any way like say again we make this challenge just to get tips and advice for young black male if you definitely like to hit that subscribe button and we're gonna definitely push out some more but this was um second installment or second uh of the series um what young black men can learn from sports and certain things uh, learn from it from not only uh, an athletic standpoint, but from an academic, spiritual, mental, financial, any kind of background, what you can learn from it. So peace and blessing each and every one of y'all. This is the Brown Brother. Hope everybody stay safe and everybody do good and, and, and continue to grow and progress and take some W's this week. So again, stay safe. Peace. I'll see y'all next time.